Uh, my name is Wan Habibie Mazlan, uh, metric card number MX1006. Hi, my name is Fahmi, my metric ID is MT2144. Assalamualaikum, my name is Mutri Danish, my metric ID is MT2142. Hi, my name is Muhammad Haji and my matrix number is MH21021. Today, we as a group CIS will be conducting an experiment on freefall. With this experiment, we aim to first investigate the kinematics of freefall from rest. Second, investigate the acceleration from gravity of gravity. Our experiment setup will be complements of household items, so that you can also try it at home. Okay. Uh, so this uh, the list of equipment and apparatus that we are going to use, uh, which are the eraser, uh, a long ruler, a stopwatch, and a flat surface like this tabletop. Right, so we are now moving on to the experimental procedure for this experiment. Number one, we measure a distance of 100 mm from the surface of your choice. So I guess we are using a tabletop. So 100 mm is also equivalent to 10 cm. So we will hold our uh, eraser at 10 cm. Make sure the bottom lines up with the measurement of 10 cm. Okay. Hold the eraser at the predetermined height. Then you release the eraser and start the stop stopwatch simultaneously. You will stop when the eraser has landed. Okay. 3, 2, 1. So as you can see, we have gotten a reading. So we record the time taken in a tabular form. In this table. Okay, after we done for the step three, the uh, step four, we continue with the step five. Repeat steps two, uh, two to four two more times and find an average result. Where we we use the same distance and also record the time for the, for the second and the third step. And then we find the average time for the result to drop. After we done with the first height, where is 100 mm, we, re we repeat all the steps while using other heights uh, with 150mm to 400mm and we also record for the three, drop, three different time drop and calculate each of the average. After we repeat the procedure to get the fall time, we write down all the results into the table. As you can see, these are the results that we get from the experiment. After that, we calculate the average time for each of the height and write it down on the table. For the velocity, we use this formula to get the velocity for each height. This are one of the example calculation that we use to calculate the velocity for 100mm height. Okay, let's move to the discussion part. Question 1. Where there are some differences between experimental gravity acceleration with accepted gravity acceleration which is 9.81m per second square? So the answer is, during experiments, the experimental value of 10 m per second is considered and with accepted gravitational acceleration is 9.81 m per second. A free falling object has an acceleration of 9.81 m per second and this object moves under the influence of gravity and is denoted by the symbol G. But 10 m per second is considered during exper experiments simply to reduce the complexity of the final value and through considering 10 m per second, observers will be able to focus much more on the nature of the experiment without thinking too much to the numerical accuracy. Next question. Question number 2. From the data in table 1, what is the relationship between fall height and average of velocity? So the answer is, based on the data in table 1, it can be said that more the fall height, more the average velocity, hence it's safe to say that fall height is linearly proportional to average of velocity. And the last question is question number 3. What, uh, in your opinion, what will happen to acceleration if we change the steel ball diameter 15mm to, di to diameter 20mm? Explain why. So my answer is, in my opinion, the acceleration due to gravity will decrease, considering g 1 over r square 
according to the equation g equal to g m over r square where g is a constant m is mass of object on surface of earth and r is the radius of the object thus acceleration will decrease if the steel ball diameter of 15 mm is changed to 20 mm diameter for the conclusion from the experiment it was concluded that no other force changed the outcome of the experiment other than gravity it was also discovered that the object's velocity during freefall increased as the drop height increased. The fall time also increased in relationship with the drop height.